and get them cheaper, but not a grandpa feeder. Um, but it holds a lot of, like I say, about uh, about five to eight pound in weight, about yeah. four kilos or so. So, but the, it comes with a training kit. I know this video is not sponsored at all. Um, but yeah, we're finding it great, so we've made a little few adjustments, but yeah. It's good to put it on a, on a paving slab, so it doesn't sink into the ground. The girls will stand on it and help themselves. And my partner will remind that, but yeah, the coop. And we are just starting to build our own automatic chicken door opener, but we'll show that when it's completed so this is the layout of the coop inside and this is the coop inside so four nest boxes and a rail over the other side loads of room nice load of fresh air for them so nice reflective top for them to keep it cooler cooler and this is the honey pot it's drinker it's a 30 litre is what they have so and it lasted with that really hot weather we had it lasted them a couple of weeks so you use the red key to put in the bottom when you want to fill it up you unscrew the top fill it up with apple cider vinegar and water the apple cider vinegar helps it not turn green you can put vi vitamin mineral water drops in it whatever you want the girls can help themselves so you've also got a little bit of shade for them but yeah, that horse box you see in the distance is a, is a future project for the sheep as it's uh, going to be a hay storage along with uh, anything else that we can store in it but it's been repurposed, we have painted it so The metalwork has been rotten and so is the wood So, but it's a, it's a work in progress And you can see the in IBC the, frame in the distance So yeah, in the far distance there you can see the IBC cage that they come in, um, and we use hay. use as hay. Yeah, like my partner just said, used as hay. So cheap away. So, but yeah, we've got to redo all the fencing. So, take you around this side of the coop. So. Yeah, and here are the chip chips again. All the girls. So happy egg layers. Hello girls. There we go. They had some fred fresh charred leaves this morning for a bit of a treat. They like grapes, they like strawberries, all that sort of stuff you cut up so it doesn't get stuck in them. They like um, celery, tomatoes. Yeah. But yeah, most most things. Um, so they get treats every so often. You so just split the tomato. Um, they like butternut squash. They really enjoy. Cucumbers as well. Again, split open. Any any damaged fruit that we don't want, they can have. Um, Gooseberries, we've got black currants, red currants, red gooseberries, Tabery, Loganbury. We've got everything there enough. So, but in the distance there, you can see Nelly with Marley. Actually, it's not Nelly. It looks like a uh, bluebell. So, but yeah, grazing land. Sorry, it's through the cage from the chicken area, but it's because it's, it's fox proofed. So, but yeah, our hen, hens are lie, laying lovely. So, roughly four or five eggs a day now in the summer, maybe one or two in the winter. Not a problem. So, there you, you go. Don't force them to do anything, it's all natural. Yeah, they're, they're, it's, it's all on their terms, everything is. We let them be chickens. Hello, girls, yeah. Filming. Yeah, Hello, filming. girls. <laughs> yeah, I'm filming. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Ginge. 
Hello red. Hello smokies. Two reds. And oh, that scruffy are dominant. She's scruffy because she always looks a bit. <laughs> Hello girl. Morning. Here we go. So I hope you enjoy this video.